so in this video we are going to see how we can work with delete operation in a bab restful application programming model unmanaged scenario this is our behavior implementation class and uh, this is our delete method let's do what we always do let's make a copy of this method and go to our api class and uh, create our method delete underscore student remove everything and uh, for delete so tt underscore student for delete copy this student delete now dt underscore student delete type this this is done now mapped early in all of these parameter we already have so tt underscore mapped early dt underscore failed early and uh, reported early dt underscore reported early this is done now our method is ready let's do an implementation here quickly implementation is added activate Our class is activated. Now let's see what are all parameters we have. Just like we have for update, I think we get keys. Similar way, we will be getting the keys here. Whatever record you will select to delete, for that record, key value would be here in the key parameter. And then same changing parameter mapped, failed, and reported. Let's collect whatever coming in this key field here first we need to collect all the keys in the entity so let's see do we have a parameter for student or not if we do not have then we will create a parameter where we will be collecting all these key fields or the key values basically whichever are coming here so student student keys i think we have the parameter here we need a student type gt student let's create one parameter here and name is empty let's not make it global create a local parameter this is done now let's collect whatever is coming here so corresponding which field keys field and mapping from entity we are getting data from entity here and now we have a parameter here we need to create since we will get key field so let's let's create a parameter here a range parameter basically student underscore d for delete and type range of z students underscore unmanaged and id type in this we will collect everything whatever is coming from front end to delete so let's put it here is equal value
and we can have ls underscore student underscore deed delete in our lt student then sign is equal to include option is equal to eq and low let's put it in a bracket and value will be coming from id Wait. so now we got our range table created here and the final thing which is pending here is let's activate this method so whatever we are getting from the entity we have made a range table for this and now we will be using this range table into our save method for delete purpose this is our save method let's check so if not this is initial and if this is not initial then copy this delete from students underscore um where id in and done our delete method is also ready activate it and now go to our behavior implementation class and then go to delete method and just we need to call it finally copy delete student what we are passing here keys mapped failed and reported activate so now let's run our application and see if it works our application is loading correctly we do not have any record so let's first create one record here configuration is five active and uh, let's add one association as well uh, course semester and status apply we got the detail here and now let's create our record is created properly go back we are getting our record so till this point we already covered in our previous videos but now let's try to delete this specific record so select one record and click on delete delete this object one first name yes see our record got deleted click on go no records are available so that's how we work with delete operation in unmanaged scenario and uh, that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you